Hey everyone, my name is Matt. Welcome to my backyard. Today we are sawing something that uh, I know a lot of you have been uh, oh, looking anxiously for. And we're going to be cutting up the big cherry log that Josh and I picked up in Cedar Rapids last year. So if you don't recall, or if it's been that long, <laughs> and your memory isn't as good as, uh, as mine isn't, last year Josh and I went down to Cedar Rapids and we recovered what we could from a large uh, cherry log or cherry tree that blew over in the derecho in 2020. Uh, unofficially, this is the biggest cherry tree uh, in the state of Iowa. Uh, I looked, it was a little hard to determine because the tree was already down and blown over before I started looking at the records. But according to a little bit of research in the uh, state DNR's um, registry, this tree would have probably been somewhere in there. It looks like it would have topped out the max circumference of the top three and it may have been just a little bit small on the canopy, but it was kind of hard to determine a canopy since it was already, you know, blown over. So Josh and I spent the day driving down there, recovering what we could. Uh, we had BJ come up with his grapple truck and help us load it. And we were going to cut that log in half to make it go on the trailer easier, but we're both really glad we didn't. We left it at the full 13 feet long. It's four feet in diameter and it is, uh, <laughs> it is bananas large. Life has been uh, busy the last year, so finally we have a chance to get this thing cut. And uh, Josh will be joining us tomorrow and we'll be getting it cut. So today I am just going to get things prepped, get it over to the saw and get a better look at it. Because it's been sitting here in the back of my log pile now for a little over a year. <laughs> and uh, it looks big again. It looked kind of small for a while in the stack, but now that it's uncovered, that's a, that's a big old cherry log. It's a freak of nature. No cherry tree should get this big. <laughs> it's, it's nuts. There we go, four feet in diameter down here. And uh, bananas. So I think this is the rough orientation that's gonna go onto the saw as. I really wanna expose the crotch figure down there. So that's gonna be my main uh, priority is getting those crotches absolutely perfect. And then whatever we get out of this, what's going on down here, we'll get out of there. This right here is another piece of cherry. This would be a giant piece of cherry alone. And that just one of the limbs that came off the top of there. <laughs> like this would be a ridiculously sized cherry. This, that shouldn't happen. <laughs> well, let's get it over to the saw and we'll, uh, we'll get things prepped to get it leveled out and take a little better look at it. Okay, this thing is not like being forked. So uh, I'm gonna sling it and hopefully by hanging it, I can adjust a little more. I'm trying to roll it this way and swing it that way. So we'll, we'll see how that goes.
I think now I can come in from the end with the forks and roll it that way. We'll see how that goes. So we have a lot of things going on with this tree. So we have the main crotch. I don't know if that's the main crotch because there's a crotch down there too. But we, let's call it the main crotch because that's what I'm trying to get to is this situation right here. I'm just considering this section here, which is a crotch in this direction. I'm just considering it like a bonus kind of area. So we have the leveling of figuring out, okay, where is a straight plane through here? And then we also have the leveling of where is a straight plane through our, our crotches here. Here's the thing with our crotches. The crotches became more crotches. So we don't have an actual pith to work off of. We have this bark inclusion here, which is what I'm going to work off of. That should be the pithy, we'll call it the pith for this situation because these two are pits as well for the next crotch that's coming up this, this way. <laughs> so we got that. And I'm going to go with this as our kind of pith area here. So I, I'm pretty close now. This side still looks like a little bit low, but I'm going to measure off the bed, get these dialed in. And then once we have the angle figured out, I got to figure out how we're doing up and down relative from this end to the other end, because we do have a little bit of a taper as well with the flare on that end. So it's just a bunch of like guessing. Educated guessing? I don't know if it's really educated. It's kind of a shot in the dark, and then you get to see if you were right when you cut the log open. Like 22 and a half? I'm gonna guess that, because that's kind of, if I draw a line here, I hit here. <laughs> That should be my pith at 22 and a half. So let's see where this is at. If I can get kind of close to it. Oh, okay. That's 22 and a half. According to the tape, that's where it needs to be. So that's where it's going to be. We got a roll correct. A correct-ish. Correct according to my theory I'm going to go with. <laughs> um, God, this log is so bananas. That's actually not bad where it's sitting like that. I think that's, that's where we're going to call it, I think. It's like, I cannot measure off this pith. So for those of you who are thinking, oh, you can come down here and come to the pith on this end. I can't do that because of how this tree grew. Because remember, we're, we split this way up and down, halfway down the log. And now we're following the lower crotch up to the crotch we're going to. There's a lot of crotches going on here. <laughs> so we have this upper crotch. So the center of the tree comes straight through here. It goes up like this to this crotch. And at this point, it goes up to that crotch. It comes down to this crotch. So now we're in this line here to the center of this guy. So I think if we step back and look at it, I think that feels like the right position. So I'm just going to block the bejesus out of this thing, get it sitting nice and sturdy, and then we should be good to go tomorrow for sawing when, uh, when Josh gets here. A hammer thingy, right where it's supposed to be. <laughs> All right, that should be good for today at least. Yeah, that's a lot better. 
Okay. We'll see you in the morning. Good morning. Happy Thursday. Josh will be here in a little bit. I'm getting things set up. We got some water ready to go. The log is all, it survived the night, it's still here. I'm gonna just give this little rotten limb here, a little chop here to get it out of the way. You know, you shouldn't use a chainsaw above your head, so we're gonna use this pole saw. So we're gonna get started sawing here and I'm a little nervous, but I'm also really excited. This is such a like once in a lifetime specimen that I don't wanna screw anything up, but I know if I just take my time and don't rush, everything will work out just fine, I hope. <laughs> I'm also really excited because normally when we cut logs, I have no idea what these things are gonna become. This is one of those times where we actually have an actual vision and plan for the wood in the future. And we'll get into that later when Josh is here because he's got his own ideas as well. So we're going to get started by just kind of cleaning up the top here and getting a nice flat face. So we're essentially working from here down into here somewhere. And with this limb up here, this is going to give us essentially some bullseye cookie type things as we work down through here, as we work down to that limb. So the first cut's going to come in here. I'm just going to, I'm being very conservative today. We're going to come in here and just clean up the, uh, the bottom of the saw cut as the, um, the log is laying on here. The cut's kind of angled this way. So we're coming in here to level things out, let go of his face, and then we can start actually slicing a few uh, chunks out of here. And we'll start seeing some pretty amazing grain. So let's, uh, let's go. That saw is up there. Jeez. Okay, here we go. Is it bigger than you remember? What's that? Is it bigger than you remember? It is. When I saw that picture on Instagram, I'm like, oh, thank you, Craig. <laughs> it looks bigger on the saw. Like, I don't remember it being this, this massive. No. And ridiculous. Are you ready? Yeah. You waited how long? A year and a half. Okay. And some days. Let's see what this little circle thing looks like. Oh, that's heavy. Go ahead. I got the little piece. Smells like cherry. Yeah. Oh. Well, that's nice. Yes, it is. This will make large coffee tables right now. Put it right here, and then the guests get cast the first pail of water. Bonus points for splashing yourself. That's actually got a lot of figure in it. Yeah, it does. Holy crap. Dang. Well, that's, this is a positive start. Yes, it is. And it's only gonna all, get better from all here. Figure all through here, all, this, all yeah. and all this too, all the ripply stuff in here too. Well, this is promising. Iowa does not dis disappoint. Thank you, Iowa. Yes. Hey, you ready? Yes, sir. Oh. It's already huge. <laughs> it's pretty much the first cut. You just, you just hold that. You just admire that. Damn. That's some wild green. Give it a splish splash.
Yep. Crap. This stuff's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Ready? Yep. Get a push. Oh. That is some kind of odd shape. I like it. Here, you get to do this one this time. What? Yeah. Alright. See if I got this still. Holy crap, look at this thing. Look at this thing. Crazy. What the heck is going on with this? Whatever is that, like that, whatever that is. That's crotch right there. There you go. You said it. Crotch. <laughs> it's the good stuff. All right, so this thing is absolutely amazing. And now that we're a couple cuts in, I'm gonna talk a little bit about what, I'm, what I wanna do with this thing. So one of my dream projects is a Bombay chest of drawers, which has the case sides that they come down and they flare out and come back in. And that geometry is mirrored on the front. So the front of the case has a compound curve for all of the, the, the case itself and all the drawers follow the same compound curve. So you need some pretty thick stock for that. And sherry this big isn't really all something you can find. Normally those are made out of like some kind of large mahogany or something, but you start with a block that's about three inches thick. And that's how you carve the sides out of it. And that's how you have enough thickness to be able to get all the curvature on the drawer fronts uh, out of that as well. So I want some kind of cathedral grain for the case side. So I want to be somewhere in here with my side pieces. And for the drawer fronts, what I want to be able to do is try and get the whole entire front facade of the case out of one piece so I can have a drawer blade so on this way, this would be a drawer front, another blade, another drawer front, another blade, etc. And you have continuous grain across the drawer fronts and the drawer dividers for the whole thing. Now, I don't want to just make one of them. I want to make multiple of them. I want to be able to make one in a few years. I want to make one like in 20 years. And I want to do one, you know, like 40 years if I make it that long. I'm hoping that that one in 40 years will be the last thing I ever make and being able to have all three of them be a display of the progression of skill over the years. I think it'd be kind of a fun thing and a little bit different. So that's my plan. Josh, you just want to make some big ass tables. Big ass tables. That's what I want. <laughs> so for Josh, she's going to make some tables. So we got 13 feet long here. We're four feet wide almost all the way through. And up here, I think we get to like maybe 52 ish or something. So Josh is going to be taking the uh the slabs at least for now these ones here we're gonna get him one here and one here those should be the most perfect crotch slabs in the entire thing when we look at this side of the uh, the log so two giant tables and maybe a few bombay chest of drawers Something. someday yeah. that's that's our plans that's what we're gonna be doing so the next cuts are gonna be kind of more in the three and a half range we're gonna do two of those and that should take us down to the top of those crotches and then we'll be able to flip this log over and get it sitting on the bed a lot more stable than it is now. Oh, I got the heavy side. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, maybe this was a bad idea. Let's let this end down first, maybe? Yeah, let's do that. Let's stand it up.
Wow. It's a good sign. That actually here. looks a lot bigger standing up. Yeah, it does. Do the slab walk and spin it or lay it down? I don't know, this is late. There somewhere, maybe. I'll grab with the skids there in a second. Well, that's cool. This is the spinning move. <laughs> oh, hey there. Surprise. 98% coverage. Yeah, just a little on the ends and bah, look at this thing. Look at the figure on top of this thing. This is some crazy, crazy wood. There's a sweet piece right there. Yeah, I love, I love this. All the caverns and stuff down here. Yep, that's that's the stuff right there. Yeah. Even if you use this thing whole, like a, a tabletop or something, you have this really cool like contrast between like complete decay almost down here, and that transitions almost immediately to like perfectly Just fine, perfect. beautiful cherry. Yeah. And then you got crazy figure land up there. The land of crazy. Now, let's just kind of see where we're at here as far as the crotches are concerned. So I flattened that little spot there, so a reference. And I got about two and a half to get into this meat. And over here, let's see here. I've got, what is this on? Like four or something. So next cut I'm gonna make a three and a half and that'll get us pretty well cleaned up and ready to roll over. And it'll be three and a half, which is what I actually want for my stuff. That's perfect. That's heavy. In case you're wondering. The waterfall. Oh. You missed a spot. I did. A few spots. All right. But this is the best spot. Holy crap, look at this wood. Look at that. We're starting to get into a little bit of crotch here. We skimmed the crotch, starting to get some of that figure here. We're getting the top crotch figure again down here as we're getting deeper through this limb that was coming up this way and the other one coming up this way. But there's some wild stuff going on down here. We got a little burl that was in here at some point. Actually, there's a lot of them. Yeah. Look at that, it's all little burls. All kinds of crazy stuff. Look how much width we got here. Even right here, like this is kind of the narrowest area down here. That's, you know, 33 or so. That's, that's pretty big. 32 down here. I mean, that's a lot. That's, that's a piece of wood. That's huge. That's a piece that's of wood. A, that's a table right there. That was not nearly dramatic enough. Better work on that. Oh, it's heavy.
Oh, you got this. <laughs> this is great. I don't have to do anything. Yeah. Whatever slab this is, number 13, let's see what you got. Oh yeah. Oh, that's not bad. A little miss, a little, yeah. little spotty on the side got here. Enough but enough left in there. Otherwise, straight down the fairway, you know? Look at this thing, getting in some crotch figure down here. And like, almost like, like a burly crotch figure. Cause you got yeah, some like, little eyes that are more indicative of burls, but surrounding the crotch. That's promising. And the next one should be even better. That's a lot of clear cherry. Yep. <laughs> There's nothing there. 13 feet of clear cherry. Yep. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Holy crap. Is that just staining or is that iron? Yeah. Oh, there's a, here we go. Some kind of fence wire in here too. Always something. Look, look at this crotch. Look at this thing. Would you look at this? Would you look at that? I think we could do a, a horizontal splash. You want to try and do a horizontal splash? Yeah, let's This try. guy's next level. Let's I don't try know. Try something. You're try coming, something You're new. coming for my job. What do you think that slab is? About a the current, 30 degree? The current lean angle? Yeah. Oh, look, 25, 30. Hang on, Josh. And with the rotation of the earth? Oh, I don't know. This should be good. 26.2. All right. Oh. I mean, you got good coverage down here. Just I'm not give enough you a, distance. Half on coverage and like a eight on style. So back when we cut the smaller crotch, which was uh, one of these two limbs, we had this crazy like crotch figure band all the way down. This one we got the bark inclusion, which is also pretty cool. More spinular, I guess. You have this bark inclusion, which kind of looks like a spine, and the flaring here of the growth rings make it look kind of like ribs. So it's kind of fun. You know, it's almost Halloween here. So there you go. Halloween wood. <laughs> and then down here we got that fence line or something like that. There is a wire here, which is like almost completely gone now. And then there is a wire right here, which is also kind of like completely gone now. Holy crap, that's a lot of wood. That was, that oh, was up there. Hundred like percent. Perfect coverage too, and like all the loft. What the hell kind of like water tossing champion are you? What the heck. I don't know. I find the best. Yep. Apparently. I got whatever. I don't know what's going. There's like a limb or a burl or what was happening here, but this, that's kind of fun and goofy. And of course we're huge. This is like four feet wide through here. Well, that's nice. Way to clean it off. Yeah. Can't have dirty wood. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that one there. <laughs> Here's that pruning cut I, I was talking about earlier. So back whenever this tree was younger, this limb was pruned off. You can see the saw cut right there and it grew around and kept going. Gave us some figure. Then we got a little early limb here from back in the day, giving us some more figure, but that's that's clear. So that right there, that's one of the case sides for a Bombay chest right there. That's big enough. One piece. Let's grab some measurements real quick since we're starting to get kind of big. 34 there. This is kind of uniform looking. Still kind of like 34, 35 there. Up in here where it kind of looks the widest, that's 40, no, actually 50 inches through here. And then right up here at the very end, we're at 47. So that's, that's a significantly large piece of wood. And it looks like most of them are gonna be that size or bigger. So let's get uh, back to cutting and we'll get a few more cuts and see how much better this is gonna get. I don't, it, it's crazy, it's, that's already awesome.
got it. Oh yeah, that's got some weight. Crazy. This is a lot of wood. Oh my God, it's beautiful. It, it's like, it doesn't even look that big when it's sitting on there, but once they're separate slabs, oh, they look freaking ginormous. It all looks big. Oh, yeah. oh. Oh. Okay, now we can go. One, two, three. Oh. Holy crap, is awesome. Wow. That's a big piece of wood. That's huge. <laughs> You know, lots of crotch in this one. Baby crotch sections. Baby crotch. Quick. I'm as big as this. Oh my God, I should do this. <laughs> no problem. I'm ready to splash some slabs. What do you think, Josh? Yep. Right, should I count Let's or should you count? Go ahead and count. I on, can't count past two. Are we doing on, on three or? On two. Is it like one, two, three, splash, or one, two, three, splashing? Splashing. Let's go okay. with that. One, two, and three. The water should be in the air at three. At three. Okay, you ready? Okay. One, two, three. Nice. That's not bad. Not too bad. I think I had too much water. I couldn't get enough loft yeah. and distance. Too much weight. That's a lot of wood. Too much gravity. Too much. The gravity was too much. Wow. There's so much stuff going on here. We right got, look, look at all the different little crotches up here. Here, 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 and here a little bit. We got some more figure come up in here too. What slab is this? Uh, was it 10? 10. That's 11. Oh, and 11 is almost even more insane. Actually, yeah, we're more plain sawn here, so we've got even more cathedral patterns and waviness going on here. Yeah, I like how big these, I don't know, undulations are. And we got this crotch band here above an old limb with some figure. But yeah, the, the plain sawn lines are a lot more better than this. And quarter sawn's cool, because you got all that straight grain. Yeah. But this has got a lot more interest. It's called cathedral? That yes, stuff? yeah. Holy crap, look at that thing. 
That is bananas. Even more bananas. All right, let's try this little walk by waterfall effect. Nope. I missed my calling. That's something else. Vertical splashing. But yeah, I can't all be as cool as you, Josh, all right? No, that was beautiful. This thing is absolutely just ridiculous. You can see all the figure up in here, these striations here around this bark inclusion where his crotch is, and you got like another secondary one here, which it's, it's cool. It's a cool pairing. We got again down here at the really tight inclusion, got more spinular with the ribs, which is pretty cool. A little bit of figure in here and knots and it gets really interesting. You got a little more of that staining here from that uh, fence line, which kind of beautifies things down there. That's, that's large. coverage on the beginning. Too much power. Hey, a little, little hook there to the left. It'll work on that. That was good. Right in the camera. Perfect. Yeah. Hole in one. Like, I didn't think there was going to be that much burl, like, hiding down in here. Yeah, like, where did that come it from? It started forming and then it went away. Like, the trees started forming this burl and then it just stopped. Is even like down in here. Yeah, you that's like the, right you in the center of it. You got burl eyes down here. And then this, we're starting to get into where that other limb is coming up. The first one we cut, those cookies, that's it right here. It's going to get a lot bigger. The start of it. <laughs> than that. Got another old limb that came off in a storm because it's completely torn off. But we got the figure from it. And we're getting away from the quarter on a little bit, so we do have a little more undulation in the grain. So this would have been in the 40s, right? When this started? Uh, it was 89, so uh, math. Like almost 90 years. Yeah. Yeah, so 30s, 40s? In the uh, 30s. That's crazy. It's old. Yeah. But not as old as people would think. Yep. Trees grow fast without competition. Well, that's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Feels like a good amount. Not too heavy, but still should provide a good amount of coverage. Okay, here we go. I clipped the saw. Beautiful. <laughs> but somehow, that'll work. 
Not bad. Not bad. This is crazy. You actually have a nice bit of wave and curl up in here. That's awesome. Up into this limb. That's gorgeous. I think this is the decay from that one like crap limb that was chilling up oh, here. Oh yeah. So that's pushing down through burl land apparently. Yeah. Where all these burls came from. That's crazy. Look at all these burls They're everywhere. Actually, that wasn't bad. Not bad. Good job, Matt. This is also kind of a lot. Look at this thing. I love how dark this is getting, too. It's all that staining from that yeah. rot. That adds a lot. That's one of the things I like about any uh, cherry near rot is that you get the rot staining, but you don't get the decay. Yeah. And then burl land. <laughs> I've been kind of slacking on doing dimensions for you all. Down here we got 42. Let's see, this is that's kind of the same ish all the way through here. This is a narrow area. Narrow's 30. They're not here at the crotch where it really splays is 51 inches. Huh. Okay, that's got some gravity. Good. So we already see this one when it was this way up on the saw, but we're gonna do a little refresher. Let's spill the water. Refresher splash. Eh. Eh. Whatever. I'm more interested in what's going on down here anyway. Yep. Where we got all these burls and things going on. Just like I remember it from a few hours ago. All burl. That's, a, that's crazy. There's so much burl. And normally I'm like this side of the tree too. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Look at that. We finally cut it. It's It's been... Uh, a long time. Long and time. This went as flawlessly as I could have imagined. I was a little worried yep. that something would go terribly wrong, but uh, it all went well. And surprisingly, just that small little that fence in there. I was expecting maybe like a T post or something cool. Yeah. But yeah. no. Nothing bad at all. It was perfect. So hopefully we can do some more adventure things like this because I had that was probably one of my most favorite days of my life. We're just driving. Let's go for a drive. And Likewise. Yeah. Figure out how we're going to get this big giant tree out of this yard. And oh no, it's a lot bigger than we thought. Yeah. And we're like, not really prepared for this. And it was a hot day too. I mean, it was, it was like ridiculous. A, it was a swamp day. Yeah. yeah. I think I lost about 30 pounds myself. <laughs> I am. I'm surprised you didn't like pass out and just be done. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. I could have really quick. Every time I look over, I'm like, yeah, hey, you know, it's not going to make it much longer. Yeah. It's not yeah. looking so good. <laughs> but it, it kept on driving me <laughs> this moment right now. And it's, it's finally here. So Josh is going to take his slabs. He's going to turn them into tables. I'm going to keep these for five to 50 years. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll come back. We'll come back to this moment in 50 years and be like, oh, look how young you were, Matt. You're all old and decrepit now. Yeah. <laughs> so I will leave you a link to Josh's website and his, uh, all his things. So you can check out his stuff. Makes the biggest, baddest slab flattener table things you could buy. I have one. It's pretty awesome. And uh, that's about it for this one. Thank you, as always, for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments on whatever this atrocity was, please feel free to leave me a comment. As always, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. And until next time, happy woodworking.